starving in Japan, so eat it. Just eat it. Don't wanna argue, I don't wanna debate. Don't wanna hear about what kind of food you hate. You won't get no dessert until you clean up your plate, so eat it. Don't you tell me you're full, just eat it. Eat it. Get yourself an egg and beat it. Have some more chicken, have some more. Welcome to Cooking in the Kitchen with Lieutenant Michelle. Welcome to Cooking in the Trenches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your host, Lieutenant Michelle. Now, Lieutenant. let's get cooking. First, you find yourself a pot. Any bowl like object. Again, try to get them as recent as possible. It helps the flavor. Alright. Now, after that, nuts. Put nuts in it too. Oh, this thing smells awful. I'm sorry. Um. Put all these nuts in here. Then. What's this? It's stew. Those are potatoes. You can have one if you want. Good luck. Oh! Oh, <laughs> someone, someone get a medic. <laughs> continuing. Continuing. <laughs> you add some nice vegetables. <laughs> Add some nice spices, I'm whatever tired. you can find, no matter Leave how Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. Help me. Put it over a fire and let it simmer. Now, for an entree, we have a nice big stick. Now, you eat a stick, you just gotta break off all these this episode of Cooking in the Trenches has been brought to you by generous donations from the following. I have some good news and some bad news, General. What's the bad news? The Germans are advancing. They're about 40 miles away from Paris. What's the good news? I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to GEICO! Wowee! Yeah! Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Are you in need of a good tank? How about $20,000 for a tank? No, $10,000. How about that? You want to buy that? Buy my tank! <laughs> 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 Band-Aid.
Apply directly to the forehead. Band-aid. Apply directly to the forehead. Band-aid. Apply directly to the forehead. Band-aid. Apply directly to the forehead. Band-aid. Apply directly to the forehead. And welcome back to Cooking in the Trenches. I'm your host, Lieutenant Michelle. Now, we came back. Long. But I figured out that it, that doesn't work, so woo, let's go get some salt. Oh, okay. Here we have we have a nice yam. So we can cook. Ah! Nice. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you can take that. It's not even cooked or anything. Okay, we have another yam. Now, you gotta take all these little extra pieces off. If only I had a knife, that would be so much easier. You're you supposed to like be prepared during the war. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, you're a soldier, right? You need some of this, don't you? This is done. You can take it. And here's our wonderful stew. They're coming! They're storming the no man's land! Ah! 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 This episode of Cooking in the Trenches has been brought to you by generous donations from the following. Ah! My tank's been destroyed by the Germans again! What am I gonna do? Is your tank, jeep, and or 4x4 always caught in explosions? Well, come to Allies Tank Service. Where you are in the right hands. Ah! Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya, kumbaya. That's all the start. <laughs> Yeah.
The Model T Ford. <laughs> and welcome now. back to Cooking in the Trenches. We are, the Germans are storming the no man's land and we are currently trying to hide. Now we are cooking our stew some more. For the Germans to advance. Oh. Good eats. And that's the end of our show. We will see you again next time. <laughs>